from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for July 1st, 2016. In a moment today, we'll be taking a look at the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. But first, a recap of yesterday's trade suggestion. Yesterday, we were looking for a sell into resistance on the NZD USD, the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar. And of course, we did see profit on the trade. We took a sell here into the 71.25 level just at the bottom of the blue shaded area yesterday. You can see right here into this area taking that sell, the market pushing down 25 to 30 pips of profit on the trade. Of course, using the trade manager, it did take the trade to break even. Then the market turned right back around, took us at a break even and started moving higher now above our blue shaded area. So for the time being, uh, not in a trade on the New Zealand dollar, waiting for a new opportunity to rise and it may be today that we have to wait for it to reach all the way back up here to the green shaded area if we're going to go short again if you're looking to go long this may be, be becoming the opportunity to do so i still would look for the open and close above the 7155 60 level this blue shaded area if it can stay above here and then dip down into it as support and i would use an example and i'll just take this red circle right here and pull it over here i'll use this example right here with a red circle as you can see how the market pushed above the blue zone dip back down to its support giving you a lower risk and higher reward trading scenario and targeting the green zone so if you're looking to go long at least wait for something like this to happen here in the red circle before you look to go long because going long at the very top of the run is not a good investment decision. You want to buy at a lower price, so you'd actually prefer it, like it did here in the red circle, to dip back down to the blue zone if you're going to look for a long opportunity because you know that your risk there is that it breaks back underneath that blue shaded area. So to make your risk smaller, you wait for it to go back down like it did there in the red circle. So if you're looking to go long, wait for it to come, open and close above the blue zone, come back down, find support, and then rally back towards the green zone. If you're looking to go short again, then we have to wait for it to reach all the way back up to the green zone or push back underneath the blue zone for the New Zealand dollar today. Let's take it on over to the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar. This is something that we were looking at in the trade room yesterday, and I think it's still an opportunity for us today. Uh, you can see the couple of different trends that we've had going on for the, news, uh, the Australian dollar since the beginning of the year. The rising trend along the red trend line, then it shifted back to a bearish trend along the blue trend line. And then over the past several weeks, we saw the rising trend. The Brexit news, of course, let's go ahead and zoom it in here on the daily. The Brexit news causing it to fall back down. Interesting is this black box. We kind of outlined this black box yesterday in the trade room. The blue purple shaded area, sorry, at the very bottom of the chart, 7300. The orange shaded area at the very top of the chart, 7500. And right smack in the middle is 7400 at the blue shaded area. So we've been back and forth inside this black box even since before the Brexit news. You can see the resistance at the orange zone, support at the purple zone, the breakout above as it made a new high, the push back down to the purple zone, and now we're back up to the orange zone. So we know that the orange zone historically on the left of that black box has been resistance. It's only resistance. Really, the Brexit news and just before the Brexit news, did we see the market pressure back higher again? Let's zoom it in one more time here on the daily time frame, get a better view of point of that. Again, back there on the left is that resistance into the orange shade area. So we know historically that this orange zone has the potential to be resistance. And only if it breaks above that orange shaded area do we look for it to head back up towards the pink shaded area, which is into the mid, mid to upper 7,500s. And of course, that's where our last resistance is right here at the high. Interesting enough, we have the left resistance high, the resistance high in the middle. If it creates a resistance high on the right hand side, we may be looking at the formation of a, a head and shoulders reversal pattern to head back down towards the purple shaded area. Of course, we have to wait and see if that's actually going to take place. And then of course, a break under the purple zone. We look for a reversal here once again for the Australian dollar back to the bear side. Anything above the 7500 level, the orange shaded area, of course, like I said, we look for the 
challenge of the last resistance high in towards the 7600 level so definitely some things to think about there but i think most importantly is the orange shaded area 7500 today for the australian dollar let's take it down to the four hour time frame again we can see all of that same information nothing really new here the red circle on the left showing us our resistance into that orange shaded area the last time we approached it we found resistance went back down only this time right here you can see take a look right here just before the green circle it hit resistance and fell back down again so we know even prior to that rise above we know that that is resistance so what I'd like to do is take advantage of the historical resistance and the no breakout yet. Again, very similar to the New Zealand dollar. You only expect a breakout if it opens and closes. Take a look right there. Let me see if I can highlight that better for you. Let's look right in this area. And I'm going to make that a little box. Let's make it a, a red box here. I'll just outline it like this. So right there where the red box is, Kind of a hard box to see. Let's change that color to a blue box when it's sitting on top of that per, uh, orange shaded area. So right there with the blue boxes, take a look. You can see it found resistance there, and only and just shortly after that, it opened and closed, just like the New Zealand dollar. Opened and closed above the orange zone and then started going higher. So since it hasn't done something like that in the blue box there, we're going to look for resistance and the possibility of going short. So I've already taken a sell into the 7490 level. I think as long as it's in here, 7485, 7490, anything underneath 7500, it becomes an opportunity to go short. You know what the risk is, right? The risk is the break above the orange shaded area and the turn higher. So you want your stop loss above the orange shaded area if you're going to go short uh, for the New Zealand. I'm trying to see if I can get that grab, grab a hold of this little short trend line right here and pull it down a little bit. So you want your stop loss above the orange shaded area. So we don't want it to break above there. Stop loss is above in case it does break out. We limit our risk at that point. We place the trade manager on the chart to uh, manage the stop loss for us if it goes down. Uh, since I'm in at 74.90, anything underneath 74.70, I'll be looking to go break even on the trade. So if we can get it back underneath the orange shaded area today, we'll be looking to go break even on the Australian dollar today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.